was really bad. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, and the, the new night guard. I don't know if you heard from the boss on the phone. He hasn't called tonight. Weird. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm your replacement. Oh, no, 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 you're not getting fired or anything. We still want you as part of the team, don't worry. Yeah, you'll just be moved to a different location. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. So you've been looking after this place by yourself, haven't you? Crazy. Anything weird happened? Yeah, but they wander about sometimes. It's a bit strange. <laughs> Nothing we can't deal with, though, right? Oh, yeah. Um, I was actually... In my first few weeks, I was a little bit scared, you know? You hear the rumours of the, the animatronics being haunted and stuff, but that's all. You know, it's just a hearsay. Nothing to worry about. So you met the, the chicken, the rabbit, and the fox. Alright, oh, okay. The fox isn't meant to come out. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Why I'm here tonight is obviously to replace you, but um, I also just need a few details of you. Yeah, just it's kind of a little background check. I know that the boss did one before you started, but just to keep everything, you know, all the boxes ticked. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, just your name again. you've been working here. This is the fifth. Fifth night, okay. Five nights. And it was from twelve to six. I'm surprised you've lasted this long, yeah. A lot of people get freaked out by the, the animatronics moving around and stuff. You weren't freaked out though. And you said that uh, you haven't done anything like this before, right? No night guard jobs, at least. Mm -hmm. Well, what we'll do is, because you've been so good these past few nights, um, we'll actually either keep you on here, or we might send you to one of the sister locations. They have the same kind of thing, um, because of the way the animatronics were designed and built, which was fantastic, don't get me wrong, it was groundbreaking technology. But yeah, they do tend to wander, so that's why. <laughs> yeah, so at the sister location as well, you might just be asked you know, help out again, if that's what you're comfortable with. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> you will be needing a new uniform, though. Do you mind if I just mess you up now for one? Is that okay? Cool. So you'll be needing a hat, just like mine. So I'm just going to get just your measurements around your head. That's it, looks like it. 
and your height, I wouldn't guess. Yeah, just your total height. Um, it'll help with overall measurement. And then just torso. Right. And I'll just go around your waist. So just around your waist. We don't want anything being too tight. Do we? Okay. That is <laughs> And now your legs. Did I get into it? Oh, I'm just keeping it in the family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you thirsty by any chance? Yeah, I know. It can get pretty tiresome. Uh, why don't I get you a coffee? Yeah. Just, just one second. Yeah, I know. It's hard to stay away. On the, the quiet night. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll just pop it down on this table for you. Just grab it whenever you want. It's nice, right? <laughs> My own special blend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as I said, um, keeping it in the family something that's always interested me and I've always been fascinated with this place in particular. Yeah, I like the, um, the stories that you hear about how good it was in its heyday and how mesmerized all the children were with the amazing, fabulous animatronics. <laughs> you know, even the stories about that poor, poor man who was blamed for those kids' deaths. He heard he murdered them. Yeah, that's what, that's what a lot of people think. Um, actually, I heard that in order to get the machines working better, it's better to have something living inside them. <laughs> you, yeah, well, you might cringe a little. I think that's a bit weird and scary, but really, it makes sense. If you want something to act like a living thing, use a living thing, right? <laughs> well, you say innocent, but are children really innocent? Or are they just little I do know who was innocent. That 
who William Afton. Mm -hmm. I don't believe the stories. He <laughs> he went to show them one of the new animatronics, a rabbit, I believe. And he got inside of it, stepped into the costume. <laughs> Apparently the mechanisms are like springs and he was stuck in there, his body mangled, misshapen. <laughs> yeah. Truly a sad story. I actually, I feel very, very sorry for him. <laughs> Enough about that. Anyway, I'm glad you've been enjoying yourself. Or rather, putting up with <laughs> the job. It's not easy, I know. It can be a little scary sometimes. But if you make sure to preserve the power and only all there is to it, really. You should... Yeah, you should stay safe. How about another drink? It's good, right? Yeah, I want to keep you wide awake. <laughs> oh, that's just that. You don't need to worry about it. When I'm here, they are under control. Why? Well, <laughs> let's just say they know me. I'm a familiar face around here. Yeah. They recognize me when I come. <laughs> they might even recognize you eventually. If you become a regular, yeah. And you won't have to worry about them at all. You can just entertain happily. Did I say entertain? I meant God, of course. <laughs> Sometimes I get my words mixed up. You'll be God in them. <laughs> Make sure they don't. Well, I mean, if they did get out, I don't really know what the problem is. The guy on the phone, the boss, he was... He is determined not to let them out. But between you and me, I think if they did get out, it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, I think it could be even a positive thing. <laughs> what they need, though, is a leader. Not just someone like me who can control them, but someone more of their own kind who they can relate to. Don't you agree? <laughs> What's wrong? Feeling a little, a little woozy. Probably just tired. It is your fifth night in a row, after all. Why don't you have a little more coffee? It should pack you up. Yeah. As I was saying, they need someone of their own kind to relate to. So, 
someone strong, reliable, but also <laughs> someone who can take commands well. We need a soldier. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think if there was to be a new design, maybe not an animal this time, maybe something that resembled what was inside. As I said before, they work best with a, a living being as their core. So, yeah, I think having it resemble maybe a human on the outside as well could work. Maybe with a cute face and pigtails. <laughs> I think you'd be perfect for it. There's no point trying to freak out or anything now. The, the coffee should be kicking in soon. Yes, can you? Yes, can you? Can you feel yourself letting go? Can you feel the feel the the drugs kicking in? You should. You see, I want to carry on the legacy. I have designed the perfect animatronic to entertain the world. But I've been looking for the core for quite a while. And you, my friend, are perfect. I didn't give you my name, did I? That's in. That's in. Jenny. Jenny. Jenny Afton. Jenny Afton. Jenny Afton. As I said. As I said. Keep it in the family. In the family. My father had the right idea. The right idea. He took those kids. Stuffed them inside. Inside. I still talk to him when he comes around. When he comes around. Hopping around as he does. Yeah. And now that I'm rid of you and the guy on the phone, well, let's just say we won't need to preserve the power anymore. I'll just open the doors and let them out. Free to roam as they should have always been. Yeah. As I thought.